All right, hello. Um, I just wanted to get some thoughts out, you know, over Splatoon 3's seasonal model. Now that it's been like, this is the third update now we've had. So I, I think it's fair now to have a solid opinion on how it's been and how I think it's just, it, it's not good. It's really holding the game back and it's really, I don't know, killing hype. I of course just want to preface this, you know, I, I, I do not like being negative. I, it, to some outsiders, it might seem like that. I just love complaining. I love hating on Splatoon. It's far from the truth. I wish I could be praising the game. I wish that I could be saying things like, Whoa, the new map looks so fun. Uh, uh, whoa. Oh my god, the kits are amazing. We're getting so many. This is amazing. This update is amazing. There's no downsides, but that's just not the case. It, it's not the case. I... <sighs> I, I really wish it could be the case, but it's not. It's not my fault that I'm not content with what Nintendo's been delivering. I am so, so happy for you if you're able to be content with the update, or if you're able to be happy about these kind of things. But you cannot use that to discredit people who aren't content with it, like me. I, I would like to say that I don't have the highest standards, like, all I really wanted to see this update particularly is just Gold Dynamo and the Splatoon 1 stage. That's basically it. But Nintendo just keeps dropping the ball everywhere. You know, the the new Blasters kit is just <laughs> laughably terrible. Um, the new map is just another generic basic map with nothing unique about it. Um, even the challenge modes now that just announced this morning too are limited time events and we, we're not getting League. I guess, now? At all? Like, it's just limited time event challenges that happen very rarely, and that's it? Like, what? But back on topic of those, a seasonal model. It's too little, far too little often. I think now we can safely say that, right? It, it's, it's the third major update we've had, and it's less content than even the fresh season and the chill season. Like, when Chill Season first came out, we were like, oh, okay, this is a very low amount of content, maybe it's just because it's the start of the game, we'll get more later. Fresh Season was a little better in some ways, but worse in other ways, like, we got new specials, which were amazing, I love Kraken and Chump. But then, we got less kits, only 11 instead of 13, and one of those being a Charger Scope, so it's the same thing, only 10 basically. And now we're having 9 kits in this update, even, even less. So, I don't know what the plan is, what they're trying to do, but it's, it's, it's just, it's too little. You know, I, I would be singing a different tune maybe if like, um, say we got some really unique, interesting new map. Like, what if Barnacle and Dime was an actual cool mall map with elevation, different levels of elevators, nothing too crazy, but something unique enough to warrant being excited for it. When you see it in rotation, oh my god, I love that map. Maybe it's not the best map, maybe it kinda sucks. Like, maybe it could be like a Mori Towers of Camp Tr Triggerfish, where it has a fan base, it's fun, but you don't really enjoy playing on it, but it's still, you, you enjoy playing on it, but it's not great, but it's fun, it's interesting, it's unique, it has a cool identity. But I'm just not seeing that on these new maps. We, we've had three new maps post-launch now, and they've all been the same layout, practically. Brinewater was just, you know, basic Tetris block shape. I think Umami was better. It was a little, le it was a little more generic, but it was definitely better, a lot better. And now Barnacle and Dime seems like it's like the same as Umami, just slightly different with a different background. But that just—it isn't enough. Not to mention the new weapon kits we get. Like we already only get like nine this update, but then consistently in the past two seasons, only like half of them are actually good kits. And some of that's subjective, I, I, I know, but a lot of them are just not good kits. So it ends up feeling like you only have like four or five kits coming out every three months that you're actually going to play. And then on top of that, we're still not getting weapons that should have second kits by now, like Gold Dynamo, Stringer, even Reflux. I feel like Splatana Wiper at least should have had a new kit two months ago, or even a month or two seasons ago. And... Blasters, we don't even have the default or range blasters kids yet. It's just oof. People are waiting a full year now to get even a second kit on their weapon. 
Like, I know for one, Dynamo Roller is just such a shit kit. So, I, I've been wanting Gold Dynamo for so long, and I have to wait a full year to get it. And even then, it's not even guaranteed. I don't know what the exact number was. I think Prochar said something. It was like 25 kits st still that... Or 25 weapons that haven't gotten second kits yet. That and that means like, like a, like a season into the year is when we'll finally get all weapons of second kits. Like that's insane. So, I mean, that's basically it. I, in conclusion, we <laughs> basically the seasonal model is spaced out for big, big updates. But the updates themselves that we're getting every three months are the size of like half season updates. I feel like. Just the time we have to wait to the amount of content we get ratio is just so disproportionate. It's just disappointing. Uh, I, 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 I just, I, I wish I didn't have to be ranting about this. I wish so badly I could just be screaming about how amazing Splatoon 3 is. And it's still a great game. I love Splatoon 3. It's the best in the series. It's just so many things holding it back that just don't have to. You know, like they just don't have to. It seems like they're just intentionally holding it back to make sure a potential sequel in the future improves on these things. That's what it feels like to me, at least. Like, why else would you be making decisions like this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Well, <clears throat> thanks for listening to my little rant right here, I guess. <laughs> I've never really ranted like this before, but um, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.